Yeah, and two weeks later, this time, here I am again, eh? Alberto Iglesias, drumsticks on the channel, and you know, a different pair of drumsticks every week. So, uh, this week I have another request, okay, I'm attending another request, and in, uh, in this case it's uh, our friend Alex Carranco, um, so okay, he asked me to try this pair of drumsticks, which is the signature model, I know that this is a model that many people well, maybe not the mother, but the drummer, <laughs> which is the signature Pro Mark model from Mr. Mike Pornoy. Yeah, and well, uh, again, uh, another progressive d drummer, <laughs> which you know, it's not my thing at all. So, uh, but in fact, it's, it's super. Uh, I really love to drive this kind of drumsticks because it's. Sometimes it's not what you're expecting, and this is the whole point of the of the of the channel. Okay, so uh, well, first of all, who is Mike Pornoy? I know that all of you that are progressive drummers, or even many people that are really um, is not into drums, but is a musician or not, or like the progressive rock and all that, knows uh, Mike Pornoy. He's mainly you known because he's been the 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 drummer of Dream Theater. That. For sure, it's maybe the most known band or one of the most known bands, or progressive rock bands. Um, and um, okay, uh, well, first of all, let's see a picture so you can see who is the guy and uh, how he looks like and all that. Okay, this is Mike Pornoy. So, uh, well, about that, I, I, as you know, I'm, I don't know a lot about the, this style and all that, but you can go to the Wikipedia or his, uh, that's a lot of information of history and all that. He's apparently a good singer too. He used to sing as second voice and vocals and all that. Uh, well, he plays. Uh, but he, he is also really, really known because of the huge kits that, that uh, he normally uses. Uh, which is kind of typical in, in progressive rock and all that, but uh, in, in his case it's kind of extreme. <laughs> uh, so, hey, he's an amazing player for sure. The, the fact that I don't... I, I, will, I was gonna say I don't like, it's not my thing. It's just I can enjoy one or two songs, it's not my thing. But uh, it, it, uh, when I really love what this, this kind of players. It's, it's unbelievable. The speed, the, the precision, the time, all that stuff. Is, is, Amazing! It's just it's not my thing, uh, uh, but uh, it's it's unbelievable. They are uh, awesome players, most of them, and um, in this case, it's, it's kind of it's one of the big guys for sure. So don't forget to check, okay, uh, that information and go to go to YouTube and search Micronoy. You have a tons, tons and tons of videos of uh, of this amazing player. Okay. So now we can, we're going to talk about the drumsticks. Let's just start with the picture, so I don't have to think <laughs> uh, about that uh, if, I, if, if we show the picture now. So uh, this is the signature model from Promark from Mr. Mike Pornoy. The, the sizes and all that first, as always. Uh, we have zero point. Let, let me check that out to so be sure I'm not wrong. Zero point uh, five three one uh, the grip. Okay, five three one. Yes. And then about the length, we have uh, sixteen inches plus one eighth. Okay. Then um, we have uh, short uh, short taper. In this case, kind of huge uh, uh, tip and nylon tip in this case, I mean huge especially compared with the, 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 the grip and the thickness of the drumstick and all that. And it's hickory and uh, the regular frames from, from Promark, okay? Uh, okay, the first thing I have to say, I'm not sure if, if they have a model without the nylon tip. I've, I've been trying to, uh, well, I've been looking at the Promark page and all that, I haven't found that. But I, I, I'm not sure if they have a, uh, uh, the option without, without the end, at least not in the web page, okay? I know in the shop and all that. Uh, what I can tell you is now they have the uh, uh, 
420 uh, X, I think it's called, which is the one with the active grip, okay? If you don't know what active grip is, you can check, uh, look at the videos, and I have one video that was dedicated to that. It's a kind of a new finish that uh, uh, Promarix has for some models, and um, yeah, it improves the, the grip, and it's kind of dynamic. Uh, he adapts to the heat of the hand and all that stuff. It's pretty cool, pretty cool, in fact. So they have another model from uh, uh, for with active grip. I I think that it's the model that he's currently using. But he uh, he mentioned in the video in a video they have on YouTube that um, he designed this pair with uh, for of course for progressive and all that kind of styles. But he wanted to have another model when he was needing more for I, I assume also for life and all that stuff. For playing life, it's kind of different. Sometimes you need something that with more power or, or maybe with a better grip and, and so that's why he's using also that model. I don't, I'm not sure if he is also using this. I, I, I assume he's, he's doing it but I'm, I can show you that. So uh, let's translate the measures okay, or the sizes as always. 0 0.531. Okay, this is strange. <laughs> so can, this is like in the Magdalena case because we are talking about less than a 7a. Uh, which is kind of strange that we, that's, that's uh, our fault. I mean, we, are, we, we have a tendency to think that for all heavy or, or very powerful styles and all that, you have to use a super huge drum signal. As you can see, this is not the case. One of the most famous drummers of this style is using less than a 5A of, of thickness. Uh, I don't know the things of the active grip. Maybe we can try that in the future and compare them. But for this, it's less than of 7a okay 7a is 0 0.540 0. so you give 531 okay uh, about the length is just a little bit more than 16 plus 1 8th it's just a little bit more i have to say honestly that i thought i i, I cannot realize of that when i get this pair uh, but i assume that it's also it's easier to realize of that uh, the the thinner the drumstick, the less easier, easy is to find that, to, to, to discover that, or to realize that, you know? uh, this extra length. Um, okay, what else? About the, the taper is super, super short, I would say, which in this case, if you look at the, at the tip and, and considering it's a, a, a thin drumstick, it's just a little bit, and, and even in that case, it doesn't decrease a lot, so uh, it's kind of, no taper, <laughs> super, super little taper. Uh, and we have a super huge, in my opinion, super huge compared with the drumstick, huge uh, tip with, uh, well, oval tip and nylon. So uh, it's kind of a strange combination. Honestly, it's for me it's a strange combination for, uh, for the style. I, I wasn't expecting this, uh, which I think is awesome. <laughs> so, um, Okay, well, uh, nothing to say about the hickory and all the finish and all that, as a regular finish from Promac, okay? Okay, about the fin, well, first of all, I, I so, I, I'm, I'm really sorry I have to repeat this every week, but it's, it's just true for me. Uh, about the, I mean, about the thickness, it's just completely uh, uh, a personal decision or a personal situation. Uh, if you, so, some people prefer thin drumsticks, some people prefer thicker drumsticks. I mean, there's a lot of things that can have an impact in the sound, in the way you play, and many, many things. But there's also sometimes that it's just a physical thing. It's just that your hand is too big or your hand is too small, and you you play better with with some specific thickness. It's just that it it's, it adapts better to you. So that's why it's important to try. I, I always say that it's it's completely true. Uh, for me, it's the the the, the bigger discover I have, uh, um, the bigger epiphany I have with this project is that it's how important it's to try things and to to keep practicing with different options and to see what fits better for you. So in this case, it's super. In my case, it's super thin for me. It, I, it feels uncomfortable for in my hand because it's, it's less than a 7A and, and I feel that I have to put more effort to hold the stick. But honestly, I can understand, I think I can understand because with this style, some, normally I use a lot of rebound with the fingers and a lot of speed. and So it's kind of, it's, the, the drumstick is flying in your hand. 
Uh, in my case, it, it, it doesn't work like that, or at least no, it's not working like that now. So with thin, uh, with thin drums, I have to put more, I feel like, like I have to, to focus and, and hold the drumsticks. And that's something I really hate when I have to, when I have to think something when I'm playing, think about the drumstick, I mean, in this case, but if I have to think, oh, I have to take care of this, I have to avoid this, uh, then this drumstick or that drumstick is not working for me, of course. So you can expect super thin drumstick, okay? Uh, what else? The length, it's, it's uh, one eighth, more than a regular 16. But honestly, I, you know I'm not a huge fan of longer drumsticks, but in this case, I have noticed that. I, I've noticed that, I mean, I've noticed that it's longer, but it doesn't have an, a pretty huge impact in, in when I was playing, or at least I didn't feel that. In other cases, I start playing, and you know, I've mentioned many times that I start playing, I noticed that it's like I have a lot of material here. It's like I, something feels strange for me. Not in this case at all, okay? It's just a little bit longer, but uh, it, it makes sense again with the huge uh, uh, kits. It's completely understandable. You have more things to touch and more things to, to, to reach. So you have to... If you have a little bit extra length, it's, it's going to help you with that. Uh, so, that's the combination about the physical part, we say. It's a long and, and thin drumstick, okay? It's up to you if it feels or not, okay? Uh, okay, now, about the taper. Super short taper, which uh, in this case... <clears throat> okay, so you can expect... You, you don't have to expect, expect sorry, a lot of rebound of these drumsticks. Um, which makes sense if you look at the taper and at the, the tip. Uh, of course, the, the 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 fact that it's thin, so it's less you have less weight. It helps you with the weight. It's kind of a good combination. <coughs> Sorry, I would say that um, in my opinion, it makes sense because if this is uh, you, you have to think that this kind of style, the progressive rock, you have, of course, the speed is is super important, but you also need some power when you play, okay? You have to go for it and you have to, you need to, to get that sound from the drums. So uh, if you have a thin drumstick, if you combine a super thin drumstick with a huge um, taper, you're gonna lose a lot of that power, okay? You wanna have the speed, but you're gonna lose, you're gonna miss that, the sound you're getting from the drums. So in this case, I think it makes sense that if you have this, this uh, thickness and this uh, uh, length, it makes sense that you have uh, that taper because you, you can't afford to lose more sound, okay? Uh, so it's, it's kind of a control rebound. Uh, as I was mentioning, the, the fact that it's thin and it's not very heavy, it helps you, it kind of combines really well, but you can expect the a super fast rebound as in other cases. Uh, I also think that the kind of rebound that you want from uh, for progressive rock is super different than you the one that you need from jazz or the one that you need for pop and all that. Because the, for jazz, for example, you need you need the speed and the rap, but you don't need the sound. You don't need to make it sound super loud. So that's why I think long taper works really great with with jazz and all that more softer styles. Uh, like in this, in this case, we are, you, you also, as I was saying, you, you need a power, okay? And that's also what, it makes sense, the tip, in my opinion. First of all, huge oval tip, so more surface contacting the drums, the, the, the cymbals opens more, uh, you get more sound from the drums, you get kind of fatter sound, more, uh, a, a more complete sound, like if you're using a super small tip. Um, also, the, about the, the nylon tip, I, it's not my thing, honestly. It's not, I really don't like the kind of sound that I get from nylon tip, uh, especially in cymbals. Um, uh, you can, of course, you can expect, you, what you can expect from a nylon tip, as I've been mentioning in other videos, is you, you get a brighter sound. Even in my case that I use dry uh, cymbals, it, sometimes it makes sense because it, maybe in some specific song or some situation, maybe in some place, because of the kind of sound or acoustic of the place, you need more bright and you need a brighter sound. And that's why in that situation it makes sense to use for me an IMT. Uh, but for a regular playing, 
um, I prefer the, the, the boot. I think the boot gets you more kind of a softer sound. Uh, with nylon tip you get brighter and more kind of more articulation, more definition in, in, in the sound. Again, I think it makes sense with the style, okay? Uh, for with progressive rock and all that, uh, I think uh, the speed and the power and all that, but you can also realize that it's kind of a clean sound. It's, it's important to hear all the strokes and to 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 see when 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 he's make they are making a roll you can hear every stroke on the drums uh, even even with the guitars the kind of distortions they use for the guitars and all that uh, they they are heavy distortions but it, they are kind of clear at the same time you can hear all the 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 sounds and all that so I think for for progressive and all that uh, the kind of sound you get from this is makes sense again. Um, uh, it, it's all I have to say about nylon tips. Uh, uh, maybe in your case, it's, you prefer the sound. For tones, for example, I, I kind of feel like I can, like I can hear the uh, a different sound. I mean, the, the, the sound you get from nylon tip in the tones is kind of, for me more artificial. It's not artificial. It's more. It's like like you can hear the the material uh, uh, the, with uh, with Buddha. It's like I think you can hear more a more softer sound again, like in the cymbals. It's like uh, the sound I get is different, but again, for for example, for durability, it makes sense because progressive rock, you they are heavy players. I mean, they play a lot, super fast, super normally uh, uh, fast and with a lot of strength. But they hit a lot of things, a lot of cymbals and all that. So, uh, from the point of view of durability, it makes sense to use nylon. They're gonna last longer, and that's all I have to say. Nothing to say again about the 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 hickory thing and and. Uh, and the finish, the regular finish, up to you. If, you, if Promark finish works for you, great. If not, you know you have another option with uh, active grip, but honestly, I can tell you, still can tell you if, if there's more differences about the, uh, the sizes and all that. But at least you know you, you can have that, you can have that uh, active grip. Okay? Uh, okay, Alex, I hope you like it. I hope it helps to you or, or to at least have another opinion of these drumsticks. And if you use this drumstick, or if you like it, or if you want to know more, or just you, you want to share something, you have the comments, you have other places you know to, to do that, and I hope you do it. And for the next week, I have another request. There's a lot of requests, sorry, the list is kind of long now, uh, so I know many of you are going to have to wait a lot. But, and, and sometimes, by the way, sometimes uh, there are models that are not easy to find out here in Spain. So yes, you don't have to be patient, okay? In this case, we're gonna try this uh, model from Big Firth, which is the Cindy Blackman signature model, okay? I'm not going to explain who Cindy Blackman is. It's a woman, and by the way, it's a pity that there's so... Uh, we need more women in, in, in women, sorry, <laughs> in this business, I think, so... Uh, it's really good to try one of the signature models from one of them, okay? So, Cindy Blackman for the next week. Let's see what happens. And, okay, we have seven days in front of us. Uh, I hope you have time to practice and to keep uh, trying different stuff, okay? Let me know what are you doing, okay? Goodbye.